G'day, this is Len again from LPR Tool Makers. Another set of gauges that we sell and which is handy is to identify what gear, tumbler gear, what is, whether it's DP or whether it's modular, you need to find that out before you're going to order. My best way to find out is where was it made, when was it made. If it was a Myford lathe or something like that, or an older machine from America, you're almost guaranteed to be all DP. That's the metrical pitch. Now, if it's a modern machine, if it's made in Taiwan or China, Asia or Europe, they'll always be or should always be what they call modular gears, which are metric, right? There's not a lot of difference. I'll show you slightly what the difference is, right? Now, I know this for a fact. This is off a of, off of Myford, 55 teeth in the diameter. The diameter of that is about three inches. Now, I've already got the right one out, so we get these gear gauges, all right? So these are all DP gauges, right? And the one I've picked out is 20, the one that's going to fit it. Now, how you, that works, that you put them in the track, they drop in, and then they're going to roll over and go into the next one, right? So they will go into one, and then when we roll it over, it's fitting perfectly in the next one. Then I know for a fact, okay, it's a... 20 modular 20 deep uh sorry uh dp 20 gear so i need dp 20 gear cutters to cut that profile now that's all nearly almost exactly what a 1.25 modular gear is so i don't have any dp cutters here but i do have modular cutters so we'll put the dp gauges down and we'll just assume this is actually a modular gear out of a Chinese machine or an Asian machine. And we'll put the 1.25 modular gauge over it. And same thing, you put it on the track and it's just got to drop in. See how it's dropping in? It's almost identical to the uh, 20 DP. All right, so that will say to me is that I could probably cut that gear with uh, a DP 20 cutter or a modular 1.25 cutter. Now, just to show you that, I have a modular 1.25 cutters. We do sell a big range of modular gears. I don't sell much DP, especially special type of gears. And just to show you that, we'll put that cutter up there and you can just see the profile, how that fits in there perfectly, right? So you'll be able to use that and cut that. There's a, well, what they call a 20 degree pressure angle on them. And that's what all tumbler gears and this type of gear will have. All right, so that's, it's not just the end there, by the way. You'll see this has got a 55 TPI on it, a 55 teeth in the diameter. You measure the diameter, how many teeth it is. So you're going to cut these, find out what size shaft it is. You've got to machine that on first. But also what you're going to do is you're going to get the right gear. So these come in numbers. Usually you have a whole gear train, a set of eight, right? So... You might do in a range of gears. This one here, 55, might represent, um, I haven't got the my little book on me, but this is number eight. So this is probably going to represent this gear, right? Um, I might be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure it'll represent this gear. So you just check it on there, and that's how it is. All right, so that will get your DP cutter. So there you your gear cutting gauges.